Hi, welcome to tdcat.com. It's the 26th of July 2015 and uh, today we're talking about Lightroom. If you like what we do, we'd really appreciate it if you would uh, subscribe to the channel so you can uh, be notified of any new videos we post. As I say, today we're looking at Lightroom and noise reduction of backgrounds. Basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to get this background and take any noise out of it while leaving the image unaffected. You'll see that from the processing of this image it's actually got a lot of noise in it, both luminance and chrominance noise, so both colour and brightness noise um, within the image and we want to get rid of that. However, if we just push up the noise reduction, I'm really not a fan of noise reduction at all. I try and avoid using it whenever I can. If we just push up the noise reduction like that, I'm just obviously gone right to the top there, but to be honest, that level of noise would need a fairly high amount. Um, then we get this nasty artifact, this, this sort of look that makes it look like some sort of 1990s Photoshop filter or something. So we will get rid of that to start with. And all we need to do in Lightroom, it's very straightforward, um, ever since the adjustment brushes became available you know, back in Lightroom 3 or something, you can click on the adjustment brush here or press K and press O on your keyboard and that will uh, do the equivalent of checking this box here which shows the mask and all we're going to do is draw over your subject or in this case I'm going to draw all over Rod with this mask and make sure you set your brush to have a reasonable feather on it so that you don't have to be too careful around the edges. I'm going to do this very, very quickly and very roughly, but you can actually be fairly rough in the way you do it. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter too much, but you know, take as much time as you want really uh, to get the look that you're after. So I'm going to just draw around, let's make it a bit bigger and just go over the main bits here. And then just do it, pay a little more attention to these sections here. And there we go. Not quite done, but um, don't want to waste too much time on it. <clears throat> right, so we've got a very visible. Vi you can see very clearly there from the colour that uh, that you know where we've kind of done the mask, and uh, I think we've pretty much covered the whole lot there. So. And I'm going to hit O again to, um, we'll see we've got our little adjustment brush thing here. So I'm going to click done for now, but I am going to go to the noise reduction again and push the luminance right up to 100%. And also in this case, push the color right up to 100% as well. So we get this nice smooth background, no, just lovely kind of gradients, um, really sort of as soft as you're going to get it really on a 24 to 105 at f5 and if we see there we've still got this uh, these artifacts but because we've got our adjustment brush now if we go to the adjustment brush settings and on here if I zoom out for it to fit if I select the adjustment brush that I just added you'll see it, you'll see the mask there and now I go to the noise slider here, I reduce this by the same amount as I increased the others by, so 100%. I'm just basically going for the extremes here. So this really works well for portrait uh, photography, less so for sort of, less so for, you wouldn't use this particularly for landscapes because there'd be no, you need to have a clear and defined subject in your image, I think. So um, it works great for portraits where you can just sort of mask this person out. So reduce that by 100 and that all that does is it doesn't actually kind of, it just basically negates the effect you just added. So it basically makes it zero again in that area. So if you click done now and zoom in, you'll see that that is the original image. So yes, it's got noise on it, but it doesn't really matter because you've got the textures of the coat here, you've got the stubble, uh, you've got the details in the, on the skin and the hair and all that. And so your mind doesn't, you know, you don't really mind a bit of a little bit of noise there, but then you've got a very nice transition over, not so nice here where I haven't done it quite so well, but it's still good enough. You know, we're, we're right at hundred percent here into this lovely soft background. So there you go. Nice, simple tip on reducing noise on your portrait backgrounds.